I'd be the last person to recommend just ignoring a problem and hoping it will go away, but it seems to have worked with my vinegar eels. Earlier this month, I posted a video about a problem I was having with my vinegar eel cultures. Beginning in March, my cultures were turning cloudy, getting a scum on the surface, and generally failing to thrive. I tried starting new cultures and tweaking my method, but nothing worked. I was afraid I might lose them completely. Only two bottles started back in February looked normal, but they had been heavily harvested. Then I got called out of town for three weeks, so the cultures just sat on the shelf in my absence. When I returned, I was delighted to find thriving populations of eels in all but the most recent cultures. The vinegar solution still appeared a bit cloudy, but there was no scum on the surface and the eel population extended all the way to the bottom of the bottles. Things had progressed enough that I could start harvesting eels again, which was great since I came home to find dozens and dozens of fry in three of my breeding tanks. Some of them are already in need of larger live food. The cultures started in May are still a work in progress. Compare this one side by side with the February culture. Notice the solution in the older culture appears clear and the eel population extends all the way to the bottom of the bottle. The May culture is cloudy and the eel population extends only about one-third of the way down the bottle. But there's no scum or dead eels, so I think they just need more time. It looks like the crisis has passed, knock on wood, but I can't explain what caused it or how it was resolved. It'll be interesting to see how my June cultures perform. I purchased fresh apples and a new bottle of vinegar, but I'll still need to seed it with eels from an existing culture. I'll let you know if there are any surprises down the road. Catch you later.